Hey YouTube friend, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. Today's topic is when buying fish, is bigger always better? Uh, certainly we've all had an opportunity to buy a large mature fish, fully colored up, and uh, some of us have probably uh, been close to pulling the trigger and then balked maybe because of the price, maybe because of the cost to ship. There's uh, different reasons. Some of us like buying uh, a larger quantity of small fish and then raising them up. And uh, there's pros and cons to both. You have to be very patient, of course, to raise fish, and you always risk ending up with females, which may not color up. So um, I wanted to get opinions from other folks in the hobby, people I respect, and so I've uh, tapped two uh, well-known fish keepers that you're probably familiar with, and if you're not, you should, you should definitely sub their channels. I have included links below for both of them. Let's start off with my friend up north in Washington, Paul, the inventory king. So Paul, when you buy fish, do you prefer them young, juvies that you grow out, or do you, do you prefer buying them already adult, mature, and colored up? Over to you, Paul. Hello everyone, this is Paul, the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and enjoying your fish. I wanna say thank you to Ben Ochart today for having me on this collaboration. Thank you, sir. So I'm gonna get right into it. Ben asked me to talk about the advantages to buying fish that are already grown out. So there's a few things that I could think of that are advantages. The first one is gonna be that the fish are already going to be colorful. That's right. When you buy African cichlids that are already grown out, you will be able to buy a guaranteed male that is full color, and you will be able to distinguish male from female because they are mature and grown out. Now, I want to talk to you guys about the kind of fish that are grown out. Now, predator haps. These are large fish. Now, when they're grown out, say halfway, because these fish can get over a foot long. Let's say they're six inches. If you buy these fish at six inches, you are going to be able to know whether it's a male or female. Any smaller, it could be difficult. So an advantage to buying a predator hap that has size on it already is that you will know whether it's a male or female, or the percentage will be a lot higher than it is a lot lower. Now on common haps and peacocks, these fish, you can tell sooner at a smaller size, whether they're male or female. One of the other advantages to buying fish that are grown out is you don't have to wait for them to become mature, to become large, and to color up. So one of the other advantages, again, is that you don't have to wait for them to mature. They arrive to you mature. Another one is going to be if you are wanting to breed. When you buy these fish that are grown out, you are going to easily be able to buy however many males you want and however many females you want because they're of size and they are sexable. So you could tell whether they're male or female. So that is a huge advantage if you are wanting to become a breeder. You're not playing any guessing games. You know exactly what you're getting because they're grown out. I want to say thank you so much to Ben again for having me on the collaboration today to talk about the advantages of buying fish that are grown out. Thank you very much, Ben. I wish you the best for your channel and the most success, and I'm glad that your tanks are on the mend. Thank you again, Ben. All great points, Paul. And um, certainly, I've had the frustration of raising a fish over many, many months, only to discover it was a female. So I totally get it. I get where you're coming from. And uh, contrary to uh, my normal operating basis, I may be adding some uh, adult mature fish to fill in some gaps in my stock. Thank you, Paul. Now uh, I have someone else that I've invited that many of you are familiar with. And if not, again, you can sub below. I've included a link to his channel. He keeps a tremendous number of tanks and uh, certainly is uh, and a wide variety of tanks and fish. So definitely check him out. So let's welcome someone new to collaboration with me, Zenzo Tozawa. He uh, 
Isn't that a great name? Zenzo Tozawa. And he has Tozawa's tanks here on YouTube. Check them out. I'll put the link down below. And uh, Zenzo, what do you think about buying fish? Buy them large, mature, and colored up, or get them small as little juvies and raise them up and uh, go that route. Tell us, uh, tell us what you think, my friend. Hey, fish friends. How's it going? Zenzo with Tozawa Tanks. Ben, thanks for having me on your channel. Really appreciate it. Great to collaborate with you and with Inventory King. So Ben had reached out to me and asked me about uh, filming a short little clip to talk about why I buy my African cichlids small, meaning I buy them in the juvenile stage. So I thought I would share with you a couple of the reasons why I do it that way. So as you can see behind me, this is my Malawi tank and I've got uh, peacocks and uh, some small haps in here. And there's about 20 or so fish in this tank. I kind of do the overstocking thing that helps with aggression for me. And um, every one of these fish in this tank, um, and I'm just double checking, pretty much every one of them except for this red shoulder because he was given to me by a friend at a full grown size. But all of the other ones I bought in a juvenile stage. And there's some reasons why. So one of the reasons why I like to buy my fish smaller is because it's less costly. So when you're buying a full grown African cichlid, depending on the type of fish, it can be anywhere from, let's say $20 to 50 or $60 if it's something that's an F1 or an F2. Um, and it can, it can get quite costly. Now, when you have a lot of African cichlids and you are uh, dealing with aggression, sometimes you'll have some losses. And if you lose a fish that you paid three or four or $5 for, while it's still sad and you don't wanna lose that fish, you're not gonna be as heartbroken financially because you didn't spend $50 on that fish and it just got bullied to death by some of the other fish. The other reason besides costs on why I like to buy my fish small is because I enjoy the grow out process. I think it's a lot of fun to buy a fish that's barely showing any color and watching it grow to full adulthood and seeing the transformation along the way. So a lot of times when you have a fish that's showing a little bit of color, you're not quite sure what it's gonna look like when it's full grown, when he is you know, in his full brilliance and trying to show dominance, you don't see that when they're that small. So seeing the transition in the fish, seeing them you know, change in color and grow a blaze, I really enjoy that. It's really nice to you know, see your fish grow up in front of you. It's very much like other pets, so for me, my fish are my pets. So like getting a dog or a, you know, or a cat or anything, you know, most people like to get them small as a puppy or a kitten and kind of grow them up and, and enjoy them for their whole lifespan. And I feel the same way about my fish. So most of these fish in here, well, all of them I bought in, um, except for the one, again, I bought uh, small and, uh, you know, I got them for, sometimes it's like three for $10 and, you know, five for 20 or whatever. It can get pretty inexpensive when you buy them very small. And uh, I've got to watch them grow up right in front of me. Of course, I've had some losses and uh, that is sad. And, you know, I, I never like to see that happen. It's been a while. But uh, again, when you don't have that huge investment, it's not as painful and you do get to enjoy them growing up when you get them small. So that's all I had. Just a couple quick reasons why I enjoy buying smaller African cichlids. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, Ben, for the spot. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you, Zenzo. You and I are very much of a like mind on this subject. I think it's um, it's just a blast to, to raise them up. Uh, certainly there's the cost considerations, the, uh, uh, the fact that you have an abundance of them, but to watch them color up and to have the surprise of one blossoming into a male is uh, it is like kind of like Christmas for fish keepers, in my opinion. And uh, I have some of that going on right now. I have a Maduka, uh, Maduka flame tail, orange flame tail that's just starting to show uh, some uh, color in the dorsal and the and some egg spots and a little hint of orange. And uh, that's pretty exciting for me. And of course, I have a flavescent. Uh, some Placidochromis, some Gazelle, and some Deepwater Electras. They're starting to show great color. And uh, I also have a red cap that is uh, just looking just looking epic. So um, you know where I stand. I love getting them small and growing them out. Even though, like I said earlier, I may be uh, picking up some larger fish and adding them to the tanks to fill in some gaps 
so I don't have to wait uh, so very long to have the combination of fish that I want in the larger tank. But I want to thank both of you, uh, Zenzo and Paul, for joining me in this collaboration. You both uh, do a wonderful job on your channels, and uh, obviously you have a lot of you both have a lot of passion for the hobby, and uh, and are very helpful to your viewers. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to their channel, please do, and don't forget to subscribe as well on this channel if you haven't already. And again, thank you to everybody that has taken the channel to up over 7,000 subscribers. It was only two years ago where I was celebrating 100 subscribers. So you've, uh, you've certainly helped me come a long way. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, enjoy the fish keeping. It's a wonderful hobby and a great community. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Let me show you the fish in this tank so you don't think this tank is empty. They were just real camera shy tonight. There's the Zero. Livingstoney, giant Taiwan reef back there, chilling behind the rock, the Venusus, some people call them giraffe fish, Malawi hawk right above him, and you can see the polystigma there, back end of the polystigma, let me come around here, you can see the poly, yeah, he's hiding back there. Fusco. What's up, buddy? Check out these babies. Look at that red cow. Holy moly. Smoke it. Vescent, beautiful fish, beautiful markings. He's not even fully caught up yet. 